I've been asked to show how I make a three-dimensional text sign for Second Life. So let's do that now. And you start off in top orthographic view, so press numpad 7. Now we're looking straight down on it. So add text. Now you'll want to choose your font, so we'll come over here on the right to the letter A and scroll down to fonts. Now this is probably collapsed so um, you need to click this arrow to expand it. Right, the top one, uh, open the folder and browse to the font you'd like or you can type it here if you know the name you might have to click it twice to select it properly and then open font and you can see that the text has changed to the new font there um, Right, and we want to edit this to say what we want it to say, so change to edit mode and backspace and type what you'd like your sign to read. So Now we want that still in 2D and it's still what we call a curve, so it's editable. But now we've decided what, what the text will be, we can change it to object mode and change it to mesh. Now object, convert, mesh. Now this is quite a high triangle count, you can come down here and read it. Well if you right click this corner and tick scene statistics you get this information here. So you've got triangles 1232 which is quite a lot considering we still haven't given it any depth. So what we're going to do is decimate that before we give it any depth. So add modifier, so we click the spanner, add modifier, decimate. And click the collapse. And this here is a slider, the ratio. So put the mouse in there, drag it down until the text starts to visibly collapse. Like that and then drag it back again until it's just curved. That's okay. Uh, now to apply it you can either hover over it and press Control A or you can click this down arrow and choose apply. I'll just do Control A. Now when we look at it in edit mode, we've only got 244 triangles. So we're optimising it as much as possible for Second Life, yet we're going to try and keep good LOD, good distance viewing. Right, so go to face select and select all by pressing A, and then E and move the mouse to extrude. And now we'll look at it in object mode. Sorry, yeah, object mode. And I'll, we're going to look at shading now. Now for most things you can right click and uh, shade smooth. But with this text, oh, wasn't selected. Right. Shade smooth. 
you get some odd artifacts like this. So I'm going to just smooth the depth of it and leave the top and bottom faces flat. So shade flat again. Now back to edit mode. Now we'll go into side view, which is numpad three. And face select, and we're going to turn on X-ray here. Now with box select, which is B, we're going to draw a square or rectangle over the center. That leaves the top and bottom unselected, just selecting the depth. Now we can turn off toggle X-ray, right click it and shade smooth. And that's done. I'll do another video where um, we can actually unwrap it for baking. But for now, that's that's plenty. Uh, so file, export. Galada uh, desktop sign. And we'll import it to Second Life. Right, now we're going to optimize it in this way. You'd have to be really, really far away to ever need the lowest LOD. So I'm going to make that zero. The second LOD, the medium, I'm going to make use LOD above. I leave the low one on generate and calculate weights and fee. So upload fee of 11. Ah, I didn't add physics. But physics can reduce the, the um, cost more and the land impact more. So I'm going to now choose one, choose the lowest, calculate weights and fee. No, it's actually the same, but that's fine. Okay, right, let's make it shiny. And I'm going to zoom out, see how far away I can get before it starts to collapse. She can't see it very well. Put it in the sky. I think that's fine. 